There is no iron pipeline of gun trafficking in the United States. In fact, most guns used in crime that are recovered in a state other than the one that they were originally sold in migrated long ago as part of common household relocation. For decades, the federal government has noted most interstate crime guns come from neighboring states. 60% of households that move move less than 100 miles away, and 77% of households that move still go 500 miles or less. Thus, any gun owner who moves to a new state is most likely to move to a neighboring state and take their legally acquired guns with them. Overall, about 43% of interstate crime guns come from neighboring states and thus most likely came via a family move and the guns entered the underground markets later. This is validated in part because it takes about 13 years for a legally acquired gun to be used in a crime in another state. Were intentionally trafficked guns a core problem, which they are not, then the time to crime, as criminologists like to call it, would be much shorter. This is validated via the federal government, noting that a mere 0.6% of recovered crime guns were, at the time, being actively trafficked. The bigger problem is intrastate guns, guns sold and used in crime in the same state. Outside of the five states and the District of Columbia on the right of this chart, all other states get most of their crime guns from themselves.